guys, it's Jessie here and I am back with another video. Today I'm bringing you a planner supplies haul. I have got crafting goodies from Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and Pat Catans. So it's a pretty big haul. Um, honestly, I was going to hold off and add in a couple of orders that I've got coming from Etsy as well but they're taking a little bit longer than I anticipated, which of course is fine. You know, Etsy is all handmade stuff and it's worth the wait, but um, I can't wait to dig into this stuff anymore. So I wanted to share it with you. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start out with what I got at Hobby Lobby and this is the most exciting thing. I got a happy planner. I'm so excited about this, you guys. This is the Create 365, the happy planner from me and my big ideas. This is quite a bit bigger than the planner that I have been using as you can see and that's why I bought it. Um, I really love this bloom planner that I've been using. I've been doing my film or my plan with me videos with it. Really enjoying it but I find that when I have super busy weeks there's just not enough space to write um, and I just wanted something a little bit bigger. I will still use this on the go. This fits great in the pocket of my handbag. Um, and I'll take this with me to jot down appointments or whatever, but this beauty is going to stay at home and be my main planner. So this, I really, really wanted to get the Erin Condren Life Planner, but I have to be honest, it's just not in my budget. <clears throat> I can justify spending all kinds of money, monies, yep. I can justify spending all kinds of money on stickers and nail polish, but for some reason I just cannot bring myself to spend 50 to 75 dollars on a planner. It's just too much. This planner was $24.99 at Hobby Lobby, but I used a 40% off coupon and got it for like 15 bucks, so that's much more affordable. And the thing that I like about this planner is that it's got the vertical layout very similar to the Erin Condren planner. There. So very, very similar layout. And it's also this disc bound system, so I can pull these pages right out and pop them back in very very easily customizable I think I'm gonna really enjoy this planner um, this is what I will be doing my plan with me videos on from now on so if you guys are interested in that give this video a thumbs up so that I know but yeah I'm very very excited if you'd like to see a more in-depth look at this planner um, you'd be able to see that when I do my plan with me videos so be on the lookout for those super excited so I got that at one trip to Hobby Lobby, but of course one trip to Hobby Lobby is never enough. So I went back and I bought quite a few things. So Hobby Lobby has a really great clearance section. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you go to Hobby Lobby and you check the back wall, they got a whole wall full of clearance stuff and I got some pretty great deals. So first thing I got were a couple of Project Life cards. Obviously, I don't do the actual project life, but I think that these journaling cards are so cute. I can punch them and pop them right into my planner, or I can use them just, I can cut them up and use them in my planner, you know, lots of different things. So this first set is the 4th of July set from Project Life, and it comes with 40 themed cards. I got this on sale for $1.79, so I thought that was a really good deal. I'm not going to share each and every single one of these with you because... Let's face it, that would be a very long video indeed, but just a quick look. These are so cute. Great. Um, Fourth of July themed. Perfect. Fourth of July is coming up. Can't wait. That's actually the first week in the new planner, so that I will probably film for you guys, although it may be a bit of a mess because it's my first time using that vertical layout, so we'll have to see what happens. And then this next one I got for $2.51 comes with 60 themed cards and they're family themed, which is perfect for me. And this is what some of those look like. So very, very, very cute, aren't they? I think those are going to be perfect. Okay, so those are the Project Life cards that I'm super psyched about. Another thing that I picked up on clearance was this big pack of paper. Now you can see... It's a little bit chewed up around the edges, but I'm going to be cutting this up and frankening it into my planner anyway, so I wasn't too worried about that. This was on sale for $2.87, and there are 50 sheets in here. So there's all kinds of different patterns. Let's go ahead and pull this out. All kinds of different patterns on this paper. Very, very pretty. 
um, definitely will get their use. And these were originally like 59 cents a piece. So I got a steal on this. And hopefully I can figure out a way to store this because it's kind of big. But um, Other thing that I got on clearance at Walmart. Walmart. It wasn't at Walmart. I was at Hobby Lobby. Sorry, guys. Um, is this little paper punch. All of their punch products at Hobby Lobby were on clearance for 40% off at the time. And so I just picked up this little heart punch. Um, it just creates a pretty small heart, but I thought that that would be great for just um, gluing into my planner to indicate, I don't know, date nights or just for decoration. So I thought that this would be really cute to have and um, definitely want to get some more of these paper punches. Some larger flags I think would be really helpful. Um, and the last two things I picked up at Hobby Lobby were not on clearance, but I was able to get one of these for 40% off because I had a 40% off coupon for one item, which is the same coupon I used on the Happy Planner. So every time you go, you can use a new coupon, so it's great. Um, anyways, this is the Happy Planner stickers, um, and they are $5 originally for six sheets, and these are perfect for planning obviously. So there's to do, uh, don't forget, important, take note, lots of really, really cute options here. I'm not going to go through every one again because let's be honest, we don't want to be sitting here for an hour, but um, super cute, lots of really useful things. That's that one. And then this one has some larger boxes, um, some exclamation points, some larger to do things. So very excited to use those. So that was it from Hobby Lobby. Also went to Pat Catan's, which is a new um, craft store for our area. I don't really know if it was like um, something different and they renamed it. Don't really know, but just came into our mall and um, pretty excited because they got a lot of really great deals. Okay, so from Pat Catan's, I got stickers. You guys know me and my stickers. So I got this Fancy Frills Patriotic Picnic cardstock stickers and I thought that these would be really cool for the borders of my planner especially for 4th of July great great colors there so super excited about that I think this was like a dollar 77 for that I don't have the receipt with me so I can't tell you for sure but I do know I got some pretty good deals these I do remember were 50 cents each these are from Doris I think I'm saying that right and these are just 28 shell stickers that I think will be perfect for summertime and these are little cocktail drinks. Huh, how cute are those? Perfect. And the rest of the stickers I purchased were also from Doris. These are these great sticker books that were just a dollar a piece. Um, and they come with a ton of stickers. So this Go Team one comes with 232 stickers. And they are all sports themed. My son's going to basketball camp next week. So I thought that this would be really good to indicate that in my planner. And they're so cute. Um, you know, they repeat a little bit. There's four pages here of unique ones. And then they repeat again. Or something like that. But, um, you know, lots of really great options for a buck. For 232 stickers you cannot beat that this one's summer fun this has 270 stickers and this will be perfect for indicating all of our fun in the sun adventures this summer look at how cute these little uh, kids are this little boy with a water balloon oh my god I die so cute and then this one is the patriotic one I am a sucker for anything 4th of July the red white and blue scheme just does it for me I love it look at how cute these are so cute. I think my favorite one is the little firework there. Definitely going to be using that in my 4th of July spread. So that was it from Pat Catan's. The last place I went was Dollar Tree. I really did not need to buy anything else. We went into Dollar Tree looking for um, some little office organizing things for my husband to put. Um, actually, in his work truck, he is a um, sewer and drain cleaner, and he constantly finds that his paperwork is all over the place, so he was looking for something to kind of contain that, some kind of folder or file or whatever. But um, we didn't find what we were looking for, but guess what? I found more planner supplies. So first thing that I picked up, I thought these would be perfect for the planner. These are little paper labels. There's 60 of them in red and blue. 
and they're really cute they're just circular with the lines on there to write on them I thought those would be perfect um, maybe a little bit large definitely would have been too large for my bloom planner but I think they'll be okay in the happy planner so pretty excited to try those out also picked up these color coding labels in um, kind of standard colors and then neon colors I thought this would be really nice on the planner just to indicate different things you know nothing specific I can write on these um, you know for a buck a piece I figured why not so some of those I picked up a couple of these paper sticker sheets I thought these would be really cool to use with that little paper punch or to cut out to stick in the planner I've had these before and I really really like them uh, this one is just a pretty floral print and there's a purple one in there and a little yellow one in there so those will be very handy and then this one is more of the same more floral you guys know I love florals so could not pass those up and lastly I just picked up a couple of pens from Dollar Tree um, constantly looking for new pens because uh, you know why not I like experimenting with different writing tools these are the ink Optimus quick drying no bleed ink fine point felt tip pens these are in black I don't have any black ink for whatever reason for my planner. I really like the felt tip pens for my planner, but I only have them in colors, so I thought that black would be a good option. Um, if you guys have tried these from the Dollar Tree, let me know how they are. Do they bleed? Um, I'm a little bit nervous about using them in my planner, but figured for a dollar it was worth a try. If I don't use them on my planner, I can definitely use them to write out grocery lists or whatever. And then these were super exciting to me. I just love the aesthetic of these, and I think that they're going to be so much fun in the planner. Um, these are from Jot. They're the permanent markers um, felt tip in multicolored. So there's an orange one, a pink one, a blue one, and a green one. Um, four pens for a buck, even if they suck. You know, I'm not out anything. They're a quarter a piece, and if they're amazing, then they're a quarter a piece. So I'll let you guys know how these work out for me. But that's it that is everything I picked up for my planner recently honestly all of the shopping was done in like the last two weeks if I had uh, saved all my money and um, pulled it together I probably could have gotten that Erin Condren life planner I've lost it after for so long but honestly I'm very very happy I think I'm really going to enjoy the happy planner so um, definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already so you can see all of those plan with me videos I'm so psyched to start planning in this planner I can't even tell you guys so if that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed this like I said subscribe if you haven't done so already I'd love to have you back Leave me a comment down below if you have that happy planner. I'd love to follow you if you do plan with me videos, subscribe to you so I can see them, or if you post your spreads in Instagram, leave me a comment down below with that so that I can follow you there. I am obsessed. I joined like 10 planner groups on Facebook this week, you guys. It's an obsession. But um, yeah, so that's it. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye, everyone.